all right good morning everybody i hope you're doing great today i hope everything is going fine you have your tea or coffee ready and also pencils and pens because we're gonna be drawing today while we're waiting for a few others to join the stream i think i will explain what we're doing here so the topic for today oh, for before before we begin i just wanted to share with you guys this um six something challenge that uh we did last stream i managed to go over over the characters and finalize them a little bit i think i will be posting this week each one of them individually on instagram and then maybe all together i don't know but that's that's my result um all right so uh, turn this off yeah. all right so um basically what we're gonna be drawing today is scientific illustration it's inspired or <laughs> directly um influenced by a friend of mine who recently was on the exhibition in Tel Aviv and there was this exhibition of a guy who wrote very um, scientific descriptions of um, different objects and then he sent those uh, descriptions to scientific illustrators who then had to based on the description and without knowing God Morgan. Mark Morgan. Welcome. Yeah, so this guy he sent the descriptions of objects to scientific illustrators and they had to um, basically draw based on the description without knowing what it was. And then he arranged it all in this exhibition. And on the website he has a few riddles posted that he the ones that he sent to the illustrators and i thought we can take one of them uh, maybe this one for instance and uh, we can just take it and read it together and then draw based on the description and see what happens because i don't know i don't i also don't know the answer to this specific riddle is it like what kind of an object it is um i think on the exhibition it said that it's like his exhibition is called fruits and vegetables by sf kislev so oh no it's okay <laughs> do you know answer to all of them Helicopter knows the answer, that's what she wrote in the chat. Alright, anyway, maybe maybe some people don't know the answer. We can theoretically pick a different one, but I think hidden bowl sounds quite interesting. Well, they're simple if you know the answer. But if you just read the description, it's actually quite challenging. Also, um, before we move on, I think I added um, comments to the chat. So now you can, if you're watching on Twitch, you can type exclamation mark refs and get the link to the reference for, for the references for this stream. And you can also um, excl type exclamation mark uh, topic and get the topic I think that's, I think that should be set up now and also I think the voting now is possible but we we're not gonna vote today there is nothing to vote on all right so let's do this uh, hidden ball thing um, is it legible on the screen 
and you know on what you're watching maybe on the phone it's kind of small but it should be should be big enough anyway i will read it so this thing is called hidden bowl Um, so, Hidden Bowl, it's, uh, the description is the following, large concave scales, spoon-like, so it's scales, concave scales, spoon-like, cover smaller scales, so it's kind of like something like this. Uh, beneath each spoon another is hidden and beneath beneath the other another so it's like a, a bunch of spoons the internal scales are softer folded upon themselves so these ones will be like this maybe don't know um, the innermost scales are frail and tiny so then there are like even smaller ones or something like that towards um, the spoons grow on a thick exposed pillar so there is a pillar um, towards the top beneath the protective coating of spoons the pillar broadens into a hidden shallow bowl so then it broadens into the bowl, but the spoons are still there. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> the bowl is filled with dense and downy hair. So then there are hair there. Hmm. Whoops. All right, so this is the description of, of a hidden bowl, whatever that is. And we don't really have anything else to go except of uh, yeah I I was thinking about something like that for this stream but I don't know it was too too complicated to make it happen so I decided to just pick one of the ones that are available because we have kind of inconsistent amount of people on the stream and don't really have uh, any way to communicate that much altogether. All right, so hidden bowl. Let's see. Um, first, I think let's let's just focus on those. Um, highlighted sections in the text because I think these are the key features that he we would be looking for this what I see is that the spoons grow on a thick exposed pillar so I don't know how much uh, this is gonna take actually that sounds good yeah you can I don't know if you if you want you can make a riddle and send it to me and then we can draw it next stream nobody will know the answer except of you or I can draw it during the stream <laughs> all right um, hey Lisa <laughs> so uh, we're drawing scientific illustration based on the description You can I think if you type let me check if you type exclamation mark topic Yeah, you should get You should get an answer there And if you type exclamation mark refs You will get the link to the references Anyway, so this thing, it's um, it's a thick exposed pillar, so let's see, 
I think I'll just like loosely sketch first the ideas and then we'll see. So this is like a pillar. It seems like a lot of scientific illustration is made in isometric for some reason. Maybe that that's better for representative reasons of some sorts. Don't know. Maybe it's better to see the proportions because it doesn't skew into perspective. All right, so. We have thick exposed pillar. I mean exposed, that means that it's, I guess, exposed at the bottom. Let's, let's just have it open-ended. And then uh, towards the top, like here. And beneath the protective coating of spoons, the pillar broadens into a hidden shallow bowl. What is a sh shallow? Is like it's not that deep, right? That's what shallow means. So it would be like, like this. Something like this. Broaden the pillar broadens into it. A hidden ball. I don't know. Maybe something like that. It's so strange to. I'm used to drawing something from imagination, but usually what I have in my imagination is not something. And I don't know. It's it's not a description usually. It's like an image, and from that you can draw but here you just have a description and no idea what to attach it to and you had like no associations and that's really weird but anyway so we have shallow bowl bowl could be i don't know could be different shapes of the bowl hmm. Okay, but the bowl means that the insides are empty. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. The bowl is filled with dense and downy hair. So I guess it's, it's like the flower petals, probably. We know that it's vegetable or fruit. We also know that the scientists who were drawing that don't know i think they didn't know that uh, it's it can, only can be like a vegetable or a fruit okay so we have hair we have it's number five we have shallow bowl which is number four exposed pillar yes okay so now large concave scales Spoon like covers smaller scales, and they're concave. So, concave means this, right? This would be convex because this looks like V, and this is concave because it looks like a cave. It's a way to remember it, I think. Um, all right, so we have concave scales. So, and they look like spoons. So, um, and this thing is also covered with with these spoons. So it's I don't know actually. Let's just draw spoons I guess <laughs> and there the smaller the frailer hmm. 
doesn't look like a fruit that I would know. But that's probably because that's not how it's supposed to look like. Uh, Alright, let's see. Large concave skill spoon leg. Would be cool to guess the object at the end. Based on the illustration, not on the uh, something else. Hmm. This is not covered with spoons. It also should be covered with these spoons. This looks horrible. <laughs> what is this monstrosity? <laughs> Am I missing something? I mean, like, obviously this, this will be in 3D later, but... This is supposed to remind already something. Mm. Alright. Let's say... And there, wait, then that means that these spoons are everywhere. So they're like covering the whole thing. Is it something like that? So it's basically like a... Um, I don't know, kind of like a pine cone. Pine cone. Reminds a bit. Ah. So this, like, this is something like that, and then like there is this hidden ball inside. I think. I just turned it the wrong way. Um. How about now? Uh. I think, I don't know, this reminds of something, but I'm not sure what. Looks like a microphone, you know what? <laughs> Maybe he was describing a vegetable microphone. Um, hmm. I think I need to start with this things again all right let's say there is this there is this hidden bow maybe it's shallower maybe not hard to tell but it's concave so Maybe this part is not, like, maybe the stem is not really covered. It doesn't say that it's like the, the whole pillar is covered. Although, no, it, it does say that the spoons grow on a thick exposed pillar. So, they don't grow, like, there. They only grow on the pillar side, not on the bolt side. So, they're attached here. And they're concave, so that means they're they should be down. Hmm. All right, but this stuff is hmm. unless it goes like this. Does this count as concave because it's so huge? And then maybe like from this side as well. That looks like cabbage, but there is no hidden ball in the cabbage. I have seen cabbages in my life. Mm. <laughs> I 
All right. Uh, I think this is what I will draw. I will. It. I don't know. It doesn't really say that. It's circular or something, but I kind of assume that it's a sphere, and and then there is this stem. And then there is like this stuff grows from here, and sometimes in scientific illustrations you see like a cut through or sometimes you see one whole fruit and then one cut and i think this time i will have like a big cut fruit in the middle and um and a kind of like a little overview on the side and then it would be cool to write the riddle on the side as well maybe maybe that artist has instagram and then we can all tag him there. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, so let's draw. Let's draw it from like a, like a slice as if somebody sliced like right in the middle. Also, it doesn't say anywhere anything about the color or the texture, so... And that doesn't help with guessing. Let's see, this is a shallow bowl. I think I, I I don't know. Oh, hi Narvin. Welcome to the stream. I think with scientific illustration it's probably important to not add anything from your imagination. Like if you get the description, you kinda have to follow it exactly, otherwise it's not really science. But if you don't have the information it's really hard to stop yourself from inventing it in the hidden bowl it's filled with dense downy hair so it's kind of short i think or or it's, it's actually, wait, downy means that it's actually covered with even more hair. So it's this little dense downy hair. So something like that. Hmm. I mean, this could be a fruit or vegetable. If I didn't know cabbage that well, I would said that this might be a cabbage. All right, so so now with those concave scales, spoon-like, let's just draw a bunch of concave shapes here. I guess it's, it should be somehow attached to it, like a like a leaf and it will be will have some thickness as well All right. I think with scientific illustration it's probably a very slow process because you have to be precise But at the end, it should pay off. How, how is it going there? How is life treating you? Anyone also drawing the this hidden ball thing? Wait, 
would be curious to see like different ter interpretations of different people. It's okay. Are you drawing something else then? Yeah, if you know the answer, you're just drawing the fruit vegetable. Although, I mean, it's probably not as fun as guessing what it is, but. Still, still could be a fun exercise. Looks a little bit like a light bulb now. So there, it just says that there are different layers of these leaves. Doesn't say that. Does it say that about the size? Anything beneath each? Oh yeah, they cover smaller scales. Well, they're logically getting bigger just because they're getting further away. This is very weird task, I guess. I was worried that that it might be too, I don't know, too specific or too weird for for the stream. But wanted to try it out anyway. Okay, let's draw some more of those concave scales. All right, that's, I guess this is, this is uh, apparently how it looks when it's cut through. A stem with hairs and s scales around. Let's now draw, I guess, it without it being cut through. Then that's a strange song. Let's can I remove it from the playlist? No, okay. Is it very loud? I can tone it down. Sorry about that. Is it still loud? Or is it... No? Not loud? Or... Nope, what? <laughs> Alright guys, you keep me posted on... How is it on your end? Okay. I think the, this is just a loud song. The next one should be better. All right, so we have this shallow hidden bowl. With a stem. Is this kind of sphere of scales. Something like this, I guess. 
him know. Ellipses are always tricksy. This this might be a very short stream unless <laughs> unless we decide to do watercolor as well or something. So this is a sphere and then since it's going like overlapping then I guess they're like like this like there is one coming from here and going there there is one going from there and coming here and there is I don't know is <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to be? Let's remove all the unnecessary lines. Hmm. So it's kind of like cabbage covered with leaves. It seems like. Does anybody who doesn't know the answer already guessed what it is? to tell how they are attached to this like do they have some sort of like little stems or is the whole thing covered with scales it does look like a chupa chups but it's supposed to be a fruit or a vegetable don't think <laughs> You can consider Chupa Chups fruit or a vegetable. Just look like an artichoke a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's an artichoke. But I thought artichokes are like more pine cone shaped, not just round scales. I think he's missing part of the description there that Mr. Kislev and I'm missing my eraser so I think he wins I don't know it says that the artichokes apparently have these little hair inside that are covered in hair so like this little hair it's actually downy which means that it's covered in more hair 
and well i guess it is spoon like if you think about like the shape of the leaf itself it's probably spoon like Hmm. Interesting. Um, yes, the ability to guess vegetables from shitty drawings. <laughs> no, I don't know. I didn't didn't think about the price or something. If it was a competition, then maybe. Or if you were drawing the same, then probably. But you're not even drawing the archer shark. Come on. Draw the archer shark, Lisa. Hmm. Interesting. So, what should we do with it now? Is it the end of the stream already? No, I think we need to do the inked version. It's gonna be tricky because of all these layers that I, for some reason, did to myself. Oh well, here goes nothing. Good job guessing, yeah, it actually, I think now when you say it, it does look like an artichoke. Um, what are the, what, what's about the hair there? They are fill, filling the bowl with dense downy hair. I guess this covering each hair with hair. Okay, sh shoot me with your riddles. Let's see what you got so far. Make a riddle for for grapes. Or is it that oh you're trying, okay. Hard to draw these circular shapes um, with this such a small space between the lines. And without pushing the pen too hard, because I don't want the lines to be too thick. I want to leave the myself the opportunity to make some lines darker if I want to. want to highlight some specific part. Or 
that's another one. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's so wobbly. Okay, so this one we guessed. It's an artichoke. Shall we take a look at a different one? I mean, I want to finish drawing this one. I will actually, you know what? I will just send you the link to the to the website with other uh, with with actual science illustrations of those things, scientific illustrations. So if you want, you can take a look on what was the exhibition about. <laughs> there is this guy called Peter Draws, maybe you know him. He is drawing this amazing, sometimes weird, but still great um, ink illustrations on just basically all sorts of topics that come to his head. Not only that, even he's doing a lot of stuff, just artistically expressing himself kind of, which is always great, I think. But he's, he's using ink pen a lot and he's using it to do these like he's doing them i don't know he so, sometimes it's just super huge it's like let's do the whole sketchbook in one go and then he just draws through the whole sketchbook and films the whole process usually he speeds it up and then um adds some narrative on top of that which is pretty cool but what I wanted to, why, why I'm mentioning him is that he's so, seems to be so precise with the, with his hatching and line work. I mean, he's doing it for forever, I guess. But still, when you're trying to do it yourself, then you understand how impressive it is when people can actually draw a circle or something. But what's important is to not try to not get discouraged by that. Because this is just skill. And skill is kind of like a universal um, human right or something. Like you can like freedom of speech, freedom of personal everything. And you can also acquire the skill like everybody else in any area that you want so that's helpful i guess all right still looks like a cabbage to me but that's because I drew it like a cabbage for no apparent reason 
Do you have guys any requests for the next stream? Maybe not specific, but just generally do you want to do like maybe you want to see watercolor or maybe you want to I don't know, do some characters or landscapes. I I can't promise that we're gonna do this, but if there are enough people interested then I'm sure we can come up with something. So here are downy hair. If is this a flower of an artichoke or the fruit of an artichoke? Do you know? Because it definitely if it's if it's a flower, who on earth can get here to get the um it's called the <laughs> not the honey but the flower pollen that's the word spoon like it says Well, you knew the topic from the beginning, as soon as you entered the stream. That's kind of when I also get to know the topic, usually. Or do you want me to post the topic beforehand? That's really hard to do because I literally don't know the topic. It's Schmelikopter writes, it's a long solid stem with occasional crude sprouts. There are four or five soft orbs at the end of each sprout surrounding, surrounded with thin flat plates. Is it, is it your riddle? It's a riddle, okay, let's see. Maybe I can... Whoa, oh well. Um, let's see, Jesus, what's going on with this text? I want to put your text on the, uh, on the stream as well, to make, mm, I don't know, so people can actually read it. But it's, it doesn't listen to me. Okay, let's see. Fit to screen. Um, hmm. All right. So it's. You say it's a long solid stem with occasional crooked sprouts. Four or five soft orbs at the end of each sprout surrounded with thin flat plates. <laughs> Wait, I will finish this thing. I will think about your I'll just put it there. Why not? All right. Long solid stem with occasional crooked sprouts. Artichoke, king of Italian cuisine. Is it? I don't like artichokes actually. No, they're, they're kind of bland every time I try them. Crooked 
sprouts. Four or five soft orbs at the end of each sprout. Surrounded with thin flat plates. Have you never tried artichoke on the on the pizza? They often put artichokes on pizza. For some reason, I don't know. So there it is, I guess. There is our artichoke. Based on that vague description. Hmm. Okay, we can draw another one, I think. I don't know what to do with this. Shall we? Do, should I do watercolor? It doesn't seem like a watercolor is subject really, it's just gonna be greenish. Maybe I'll do it later today. Um, okay, so it's 24th. Okay, let's do, let's do Schmelikopter's riddle. Because we still have some time. Right. No, no, not with this one. Uh, it's Le Fleur Blanche says, Aha, again will be the rest part of that owl. I guess she means that I sometimes take the picture from the stream and then like three days later when I finish the piece, I take another picture and it looks like there is too much happened in between. But with this one, I don't think that's gonna be the case because it's kind of very simple. There is not much, I don't know. There is not much to do here because I don't really want to um, go too wild away, too far, too wild, too far away from the riddle itself. All right, so. Let's see what we have now from Schmelikopter. It's a long solid stem. Doesn't say how thick, so it could be any thickness. With occasional crooked sprouts. That would be one occasional. So it's are they, I don't know, are they all on the same side? Are they all on different sides? Something like this maybe? And then, wait, a long solid stem with occasional crooked sprouts. There are four or five soft orbs at each end of the sprout surrounded with flat plates. Four or five, so at the end. So this will be like one, two, three, four, I don't know, five. One, two, three, four, five. The injured sprout. It looks like the cloudberry, but in a very strange, and they're thin flat plates plates meaning like what do you mean by plate do you mean like circle plates blueberry blueberry doesn't grow with five or six berries on each sprout i think Also for, for today, I changed the soundtrack a little bit. I added a few albums there, but it's it's kind of like, it's really tedious. You have to basic, you can't skip 
um, you, know, you can skip but you cannot go back and you cannot hold, see the whole list you basically have to listen for each song individually and add them to the playlist and they, they do have different genres there but um, if you want music without lyrics and in non really pop music genre or dance music because I don't think that's gonna fit for these kind of streams then you basically have to listen through like I don't know 700 hours of music and select a few songs that you can actually play on stream and enjoy anyway we'll get there someday we'll have our own radio large orbs oh that changes everything soft large Hmm. Well, we don't know how large this stem is, so I still can technically say that these are large orbs. If this is a human, he's like, what? Such a huge orb. And the plates, okay. Uh, surrounded with thin, soft soft orbs surrounded with thin plates no. surrounded with thin plates so they're kinda hmm. doesn't say that it's they're covered crooked oh you did you mean like this crooked Something like that. Then no, let's see. Okay, I ah, oh, it's so frustrating. I don't, I don't understand what means. Thin, covered, surrounded with thin flat plates. Is it like like this? Yeah, that looks like. Yeah, that would do. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not as frustrating. <laughs> Um, hmm. um, do you know what me you mean by crooked? Yeah, I guess this is not really crooked. <laughs> but it says long solid stem, so that what I think confused me because I don't know because I don't know what it is actually. Hmm. Super hard without without knowing the color. Does a little look like blueberry, but maybe it's some other berry. Now it looks a little bit like um, sakura flowers. Yeah, I, is there is there more description about the the berries themselves? Schmelly. Hey, what do you, <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't look similar to what you made up? Crooked, crooked. Okay, I will I will write everything down. Long solid stamp. 
long solid stem. What else? Crooked sprouts. Crooked sprouts, get it. Four or oh, four or five, so I think I should delete maybe on one of them. One extra berry. Four or five soft, large. Uh, how did he call them? Orbs. Thin, flat plates. Hmm. The orbs are larger and look like nice soft snowballs. There is more of them on the stem. Okay. Let's add a few more on the other side then. And on the other side we will make them bigger. There will be these plates looking the other way. And they're they're larger. Alright. Alright, if larger then Let's make them larger. One, two, three. And they will be the fourth. Hmm. Is it the... find my eraser don't don't want to stop now <laughs> the plates can be can be very uh, they I mean not the stems the the crook sprouts it's I think it's actually really important how long they are but I don't want to ask how long they are because I don't want to change them if they're different. But it's it's fun that when you're describing something you're you think you're describing it in details, but then all these little things cotton What? It's cotton? That's cool. Cotton is not a vegetable. But you didn't say that you're making vegetables. Yeah, the sprouts are a bit overcrooked, but it's kind of, I mean, close enough. <laughs> At least it's guessable. Cool, I really like that one. Nervin, you guessed it. Do you want to suggest your uh, riddle while I'm inking this? It's only 11.05. We still have about an hour or half an hour. That's fine. It's 
hard to come up with the riddle if you're in bed, I guess. Especially if you're half asleep. Le Fleur Blanche, do you want to come up with the riddle? Interesting that when you said, um, <laughs> nope, thanks. Um, when you said that there are large soft balls, I didn't think about them as soft as like a plushy toy or something. I I thought about soft as you know like a, a like a soft fruit or something like that, like a grape or a berry. Thin plates. I was thinking of food, yes. That's true. To be honest, it's it's a very nice to think of food sometimes. Cotton, huh? Why did how how did you come up with cotton? Seems like such an unusual object. Unless you're working in clothing industry. You have cotton on your window. Like real cotton with I mean yeah you described it. Hmm. I don't remember. Maybe I just did, maybe I thought that it's an orchid because I think I remember an orchid on your window. Or is there an orchid as well? No? since a few months on the window but that's the only plant that's growing right now usually if I buy plant it usually dies within a few weeks or days I can survive in harsh environments like my house but I don't like plants that are kind of pointless I mean cacti are adorable sometimes or cute but you can't really eat a cacti that you're growing on your window and that's the problem <laughs> Helicopter killed immortal plants. The destroyer of plants. Since now I know that it's cotton, that's why I'm making the balls more snowbally. But before that I wouldn't have thought about it. Wonder what other plate. 
plates. Like, do, do these things look like plates that you uh, that you had in mind? is cotton then should be theoretically cotton also the topic of today's drawing is kind of science illustration scientific illustration so it has to be quite accurate um, okay. thin flip plates ourselves some some cotton hmm. should I do some inking or water coloring on the artichoke hmm. accurate but in its own way it's very kind of you <laughs> it's a very Politically correct way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I think if I think you can kind of guess that it's cotton just based on the ball shape because you don't really see those textures that often. What say you? Shall shall I watercolor this part or shall we call it a day? How is everybody feeling? Do you still have it in you? The watercolor or... Let's move on with our days. Enough art for today. Color the cotton. Oh. I can color the cotton. But it's white, isn't it? What? What it color? <laughs> what is this helicopter? Is it Japanese? What it color? some references for color ah that's hmm. so it's kind of is it always that brown or is it green when it's actually growing in fields 
No, it's always brown. It's it's perma dead. It's always it's a dead flower. All right. So the white parts, we're not sure about them. And the brown parts, I can use the ink or I can just use some of my watercolor that I have right here. <laughs> that's that's actually good. Maybe I should also get a permadeath flower so it can survive my apartment. But dead flowers are also pointless. I don't like pointless flowers. Like I, I like plants that I, you know if I'm growing a plant at home, it either should be really really beautiful to adore it so much or it doesn't need to require anything from me or it needs to be munchable. Touch it and be happy. Hmm. Maybe I should <laughs> maybe I should invest in like a plantation of those. A whole garden. Cacti are fine, but they're kinda I don't know. You don't get anything from them. You can't milk the cacti. It's an old Mexican saying. This, this sepia works wonders. So good. Interesting that, yeah, they're can't really, I don't know, they, it's hard to call them plates, it's more like, I don't know, like a little cocoons, the, these uh, leaves around, surrounding, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to describe those, you're right. Cacti is a protection. Hmm. Do you throw them in people or do you just make a wall of cacti? I guess just having a wall of cacti in front of your house might be a good enough protection. Late, yeah. But yeah, I, I know what you mean in Russian. Uh, but I don't know if the plate has that meaning. Uh, or or even like in Russian, I don't know if it's if that's the right word. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a fun exercise. Do 
these are a little bit more seems like they're a little bit more yellowish reddish a little bit more something a little bit different from the stem that's what i tried to point out shouldn't have done this one because now when I will draw the top ones I will smear my watercolor all over the page once again. <laughs> yeah, no. Describing stuff is hard. I remember there was this book uh, in my childhood, um, Encyclopedia of uh, Professor Fortran. It was about like computers and algorithms and all that stuff. And it was made for children. And there was like a cat, a sparrow, a professor whose head looked like a very long potato. It's someone else, I don't remember who else, but but these were always like building robots and making different mathematical, uh, solving different mathematical riddles and problems. And in one of their stories, the the mate, the professor left his sparrow and the cat at home to, I think to cook dinner or something and they while he is away and they decided to build a robot that or, or I don't know I don't remember the pr premise maybe they all were cooking dinner together or something like that and the, I think the cat said like oh it's so boring to clean those potatoes why don't we build a robot to, to do that and then the professor said like oh yeah you want to build a robot Let's pretend I'm the robot and, and you just give me a program to work from. And that it, like, on that example, they just showed that the cat said, yeah, take a potato. Um, take a potato and just clean it. And then the professor started cleaning potato with the wrong side of the knife and stuff like that. And then basically he just wanted to prove them that the robots don't know the context and don't know the can't make assumptions at least at that time i bet now they can yeah it's such a great book i don't know i have really good memories of it okay what do we do with these with the balls that's the question. Mm. Okay, let's, I don't know, let's just add some shadow. I'm trying to add the, I don't know, also maybe play a little bit with the texture of this balls. Just to make it a little bit more fluffy and cotton-like. Not sure if that's working, but... You, Schmidlicopter, you usually draw something different on stream. Are you drawing something uh, specific this time or just chilling and doing your stuff? I 
think I want to make this stem darker as well. to at least be a little bit consistent where with where the light is coming from I think it's coming from this like above right or something like that okay time to make the stem darker and a little bit brighter looks like cotton I think people would guess cotton from this even though the sprouts are a little bit too crooked it's so interesting how angled it is here anyway I think I think if nobody has any other riddles for today, I think we've done well. We've done one weird one, which turned out to be an artichoke. I will write the riddle here as well. And we did a cotton that came from Schmelikopter. And if you don't follow her on Instagram at underscore Sasha Kalesnik, you should definitely do that. Anyway, thank you guys for joining. It's always a pleasure to draw with you a little bit. Thank you for your comments and chat and interaction. And I hope you have a good day. Have a great week. Eat your vitamins, don't get sick. And I'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining and bye bye.